What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Grace, I'm a farmer, photographer, welder, now YouTuber, I guess. And today we're gonna be putting a governor on this for the compressor because it is not wanting to build air. I think I said that in the last video, but I'm not sure. It's just not wanting to uh, build up air pressure. So I'm gonna pop the hood, the governor's over on this side. Let's go ahead and get started. This right here is what we're working on. Um, basically, all you gotta do is take these two lines off right here, and then there's two bolts on the back side that you gotta take off. First, we're gonna take this dipstick out just to get it out of the way. fittings here we've got to take out of this one so that we can put them in the other one got my helpers with me today hi Kelso hi Hatter here's the new one so you see on this one it's got plugs in it the new one came with new plugs so I'm gonna put those in first put it on and then once it's bolted up and tightened down then I will be able to tighten these probably be easier with a vise but this will work just fine So 
I got the red truck started and let it warm up for a little bit and build some air. And now we're gonna move it up under the auger. Hopefully I can get it center by myself. And we're gonna load it. I don't know if you guys are gonna stay there. First thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is unroll the tarp. We're open. Once the grain gets so low in here, you have to get in and shovel it down there into that hole, which is what leads to the auger, which augers it out to right there and then up there, like I explained the other day. Well, to make it easier, we have the sweep auger. So basically that goes to the center. When the auger spins, it carries grain from the outside to the, of the bin to the middle so that I can land in the auger down there and auger out of thin and up there. I hope that made sense. Both trucks are loaded, ready to go. 